Booga, booga, booga. Hello, boogies. Welcome to Late Night Dylan. I figured we're bringing back the, the Met Gala review. Might as well bring back Late Night Dylan, you know? I would have, would have loved, frankly, to have made a Late Night Dylan a little bit more recently. We just, we didn't have the budget. Finally, I, I scraped up enough shillings to put together another one for you guys. With the original lamp. Hey, this thing's still broken. Still, still a fire hazard. Long time viewers, of course, will, will understand the, <laughs> the inside jokes already in this video. Hey, if you're a newer viewer and you're like, what are you talking about budget? You don't have budget? What do you mean? Just give it a few months. Uh, welcome to the channel, by the way. You'll pick up on uh, a bunch of inside jokes. You'll be in the loop in no time. I needed to bring back the the Met Gala reviews because uh, the fashion world has been asking me. They're like, Dylan, when's the next one? You are the god of fashion after all. We need your opinion. My opinions are harsh, but my judgment is pure. So if I insult your favorite celebrity's outfits, just know that it's not because I hate them, it's because I know better than everybody else. Did I explain what the Met Gala is? Yeah, I don't, I don't think I have. It's a it's like a really prestigious event where, where people wear fine clothing and then uh, everyone takes photos of them. It's a it's very exclusive. Let's take a peek. Uh, let's take a peek at uh, at some of the outfits. Uh, first, we have a Kardashian. Don't care. <laughs> I don't know what it is specifically about the Kardashians, but every time I hear about them or see them. All I can think of is social decay. Cardi B, look at this. We, wait, what was the uh, uh, Met Gala 2023 theme? Oh, it's Karl Lagerfeld. According to the Met, the exhibition, which inspired the ball's theme, explores the artistic methodology and stylistic vocabulary of Karl Lagerfeld's designs, the recurring themes across more than 65 years. Now, as a god of fashion, I know so much about Karl Lagerfeld. I know Carl, of course, is a, uh, uh, he's one of the fashion people. And I think that Cardi B just perfectly encapsulates what Carl Lagerfeld was about, which is, uh, just, uh like, it's just so much, it's very Carl, you know what I mean? Look at it, it's very Carl. I actually like this outfit a lot. Hey, listen, Cardi B, more like Cardi A+, good stuff. Ah, Bad Bunny, of course, uh, this all whites. I'm going for a white out here. Feel free to, to comment any outfits that you really like in the comment section as well. To me, this just needs uh, just a splash of color. It's a little bit boring. I'm a little bit bored. It's too much white. What am I, looking in a mirror? I just like a small splash of color. Even the tie, maybe a lapel, hmm? Maybe a signet. What the fuck is a signet? Why did that word just pop in my head? Oh, it's a ring? Wait, what was a lapel? <laughs> it's a pin, of course. Maluma. See now this, this is an outfit. I love the sleeveless because then the, the tattoos on the arms almost become a part of, of the outfit. The scarf just adds a ton. Listen, 9.5 out of 10. Here we have Lizzo. I like it. I don't love the gloves, but I like the rest of it. I like all the beads. It gives like a real shape to the outfit. I like it. Three gold stars. I give it. <laughs> oh. He looks like a devil. Like a sexy devil. If you asked AI to draw a sexy devil, this is what it would look like. He looks good. I The shorts. I like the shorts. Show me some of that thigh meat. I like it. Pedro with the thigh meat coming through. It is a lot of red though. You're lucky I said the sexy devil thing because I could have said you look like Clifford the Big Red Dog in human form. And I didn't say that. I said the devil thing. I like the outfit a lot though. I, I really do. I think it's good. Again. Maybe a lapel? Can I get a fucking lapel around here? Come on! What happened to the good old days when people would wear lapels? <sighs> what the fuck are we doing here? I'm just trying to think. I'm just trying to think. How do you get invited to a super exclusive event? Fashion event. And you say to yourself, Wouldn't it be funny? If I pulled out my furry suit, Jennifer Lopez, a lot of skin. Jennifer Lopez looks like she is attending the funeral of her husband. She's trying to hold it together as the investigators stand in the back, watching her every move because this is her third husband who has died under suspicious circumstances. It doesn't help that she's also currently dating a Colombian politician whose criminal past is no secret and his rise to power is due to that past. I hope that's what she was going for because that is the story that this outfit tells me. Jenna Ortega, top tier outfit. It feels very controlled chaos to me, right? Like this, uh, this, this, this chain thing, this chain looking thing wrapping around the whole outfit pulls all this chaos together. It holds it together like chains hold together 
things that chains hold together. Does that sentence make sense? Paris Hilton. Leather. Maybe it's because I'm working on the Friends video and I've been seeing Ross in leather pants because I talked about it ad nauseum in the video. <laughs> so he goes to the bathroom and he takes his pants off and uh, he realizes that with the heat, the leather has shrunk and now he can't get the pants back up. So he tries a bunch of stuff. It goes horribly wrong. It's, it's super comedic. It's a wonderful plot. I think as a, as a guy, we've all been there. Our pants are down. We can't get it up. Not, hold on. I currently hold leather in very high regard. So listen, I think it works. Oh, and, and great looking outfits. This, I'm gonna put this up next to, to Jenna Ortega's. If you told me tomorrow that Anne Hathaway was cast in a movie alongside Jenna Ortega and they were playing antagonists towards each other and these were the outfits, I would say, yes, perfect. I would love to watch that movie. This outfit is such the foil to Jenna's for some reason, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing a whole storyline here. I don't know who the villain is, but I'm gonna enjoy watching. This might be the best outfit of the night. Let's see if it can be topped. Who, wait, so who made it? Wow. Wow. Okay, so something a little different. What was your inspiration for tonight? Be honest with me and go into detail. Wow. 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 So what are you excited to see in there today? Wow. Is it your first Matt? Wow. Listen, Emma, Emma Chamberlain, when you ask a question and the response is a meow, the interview is probably over. I don't think you need to ask follow-up questions. When you hear the second and third meow, at that point, have a nice night. See you inside. Good night. Goodbye. Hopefully I never come across you again with your weird ass meowing. Who, wait, wait, so who made it? Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Wow. Emma, <laughs> that's the fakest shit ever. Wow. Oh, how thoughtful. What if I didn't expect that response? I'm gonna have to chew on that. She makes good music, but I wish she would use her words more often. Watch her next album just be fucking animal noises. <laughs> Billie Eilish. Okay. I need to absorb it for a second. Again, I'm, I'm missing a little color. I would love some more color. Or maybe like a headpiece. Uh, maybe, let me, can we see Billie Eilish? Let's see, a, can we get a different angle maybe of that, uh, not in the bathroom. Oh, hey, look at this. A video. You know what? It kind of looks a little better in video. That might not have been the best photo. She had like green in her hair for a while, didn't she? I feel like if she had green in her hair, this would have been a little bit better. Or maybe like a necklace. Maybe a lapel would have helped. But overall, a very solid outfit still. She's got like these piercing eyes. I love that the heavy eye shadow. You know, it really, really accentuates that. Overall, good outfit. Could have used a la fucking pel. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Bradley don't care. He, I feel like he just shows up. And if you were like, hey, Bradley, go home. He'd be like, all right, I don't care. Like if you're gonna come, at least put like try something, right? Don't just wear the thing that you would wear to any other event. Sorry, I was counting Mr. Rocky's belts. I think he's got four belts on. And they all appear to be Gucci. Gucci belts. I've recently been shopping for belts myself. And I had to Google good belts for men. Uh, what did I Google? <laughs> let me, let's auto, let it autofill. Belts, best belts for men. I Googled. And in every list, Gucci would pop up. Gucci belts. And I thought, no. Goo that's a little too douchey. Gucci. Douchey and Gucci. They rhyme for a reason. Gucci necklaces, fine. Right? Belts? No. And he, he went with four. Then with the kilts and then the jeans with the... Uh, that's, a, that's a lot. I do like this though. This here? He's got a lapel? Leather tie though. I think that's actually great. A straight tie. Leather tie. Like that a lot. The one glove. What are you doing? From the waist up, it's like an A+. Plus. From the waist down, it's like a D-. minus. More leather! Who is this? Lily James. I'm partial currently to leather, so good work. <laughs> Pete, Jesus. Hey, I think without the hat, maybe without the gloves, I could be convinced. Is that leather I see? I just zoomed my face into his crotch. Cause that's where the shiny is, right? So I was just following the shiny and I just got right up in there. Vanessa Hudge, the Hudge, of course. Famous for having like twins and then twins of twins and they all have evil intentions. And it's always Christmas. Good outfits, inoffensive. Right? It looks, it looks fine. Lil Nas X. 
decided to paint his whole body in a silver. Of course, honoring the uh, the famous silver magnet, Karl Lagerfeld, who uh, got his start mining silver in St. Louis. Tell all your friends, anytime they bring up Karl Lagerfeld, tell them that story about St. Louis, and they will be amazed, I'm sure. I'm all for headpieces, but just going straight vertical like that, I don't know floor. I don't know floor floor. Just going full erect like that, just straight on up, I don't know that that's the move. Kind of like her buzz cut though. It's a good look on her outfits, the rest of the outfit. It's hard, it's hard to look at anything else, but her her verticality, you know? A lot of black and whites. I, I do appreciate the, the ones that brought color, right? Pedro, I appreciate him. Uh, Sydney Sweeney, if, uh, uh, finally. A little bit of color, although Peach is, is basically just like a, a white. Peach has got to be like... Like of all the colors, it's gotta be like the least color, right? Like if someone were to tell you like, hey, like what's your favorite color? And you were like, peach? You'd be like, no, like a color, not a dumbass color, like a real color. Ah, now here's an outfit utilizing textures. He's got the uh, the blazer with the textures. And there's a lot going on here, right? Draws your eye in. The gloves? I'm not a glove, I'm not a fan of gloves. What's up with the gloves? They just make your hands hot. They don't look good, they're utility. They're completely utility. Unlike, unlike scarves. Scarves can look good. Gloves rarely look good, if ever. Dua Lipa. Hey, this is a very classic, classic look. I like this a lot. This looks fantastic. It's very elegant and she just really leaned into the simplicity. Very little jewelry. She's got one piece around her neck. She's got a ring here, a ring there. Nothing else. Simplicity done well. Good stuff. A plus. Uh, was I supposed to be grading these? Oh well. Olivia Rod, Rigo, the Rodster, of course, as 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 she's referred to. Also leaning into simplicity with the lack of jewelry. She's not even wearing a necklace. No bracelets either. Uh, uh, two rings. Couple of earrings that stand out. A very classical hairstyle, right? That's like that's like some 1920s shit. Hey, all right. Listen, you the you still doing gloves? Fine. But listen, this is good. I love the tie on the tie. That's a bold choice. I like it. Salma Hayek. I like this a lot as well. The, the texture differences between the top half and the bottom half, even though it's all red, the texture differences that just provides so much to this outfit. You got the the beads, the the, be the pearls, the pearly beads. The fuck you call it? I don't know. Shut up. They just provide a little something else. Good stuff. Great, great outfit. Dwayne Wade. Oh, Conan Gray. That that looks really good. I like that a lot. I love a black and white combo, right? So this is like a good a good theme for me. But just photo after photo of just black and white constantly, it's a little bit boring. I'm getting a little bit uh, uh, desensitized to black and white. It's just like, I just need more color. But I do like this outfit. It looks like uh, he's got some leather going on. Appreciate that. This little, uh, this little doohickey up here, that's also <laughs> pretty cool. So, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to recoil. Nothing against Amanda Seyfried, 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 Seyfried. Nothing against Amanda S. But no, mm. <laughs> why does he look like a box? He just—he's too square. He's just a square shape. That's not—you don't look like a human. You look like a Roblox character. Why you do that? I don't know. That's not—that's not the shape of a human being. Ice spice. Simple, elegant, classy. I like it. And I the color comes from the hair. I like that a lot, actually. Ah, oh, God. Ah. Oh, that hurts my eyes to look at. Ah, I, I, I know I said I want color, but Jesus. I'm gonna, like, pass out or throw up or something. I gotta skip. Jenny of Blackpink. Would have loved a necklace. But the rest of the outfits, top tier. <laughs> James McAvoy. He definitely looks like a period piece investigator of a crime. Maybe he's investigating Jennifer Lopez. Didn't, I could have swore I saw Diddy. Diddy, didn't Diddy have something? Oh, you don't get, you didn't get a photo of him? Yes. Looking like a, like a vampiric general. And Shea Gilgis Alexander, basketball player, another really solid outfit. Some of the, the people that they focus on, I don't get it. Like this is a top tier outfit. Same with Diddy. I like this, I like this a good deal. It just, it feels so layered and textured. And despite it being black on black on black, the layers manage to stand out from each other. E! News, what do you, what's your agenda here? I saw like 13 different Kardashians. I can't see one Diddy? Ha, ah, I can't get over Anne Hathaway. That's, 
that probably the best well there you have it a quick run through of some of the best and worst outfits of the met gala thank you for watching bye, -bye. see you later have a good day